now do we have the WBC president actually confirming what the VADA, the Drug Testing Association, saw? Um, it's official, bro. And we have to accept this information as such. And it's disappointing, bro. Because Ryan was doing all those antics. And then it seemed to be that he proved the haters wrong, right? And, you know, I had no horse in the race. I didn't necessarily want him to lose or win. I didn't care. I wanted to see a great boxing match. But with these, with this information, that has got taken away. It wasn't a fair fight, bro. Um, and the only thing that could save Ryan Garcia from this is that he can say he didn't know that it was in his system, right? But it's still going to look bad. And the more we look into all the things that he did, bro, it's going to look like he was having roid rage. So everything is adding up. Everybody was saying, oh, Mario Garcia, his mentality, we don't think he's ready for the fight. His mental health is at question. This pretty much just proves why it could have been, right? And the more things add up, the more information that we hear, um, this is a stain on his legacy, bro. You know, because, you know, there's other fighters in all combat sports that kind of, you know, he ain't the only one ever to have pop with PEDs, bro. But his hit a little bit different because he's this, he, he, he was already under a microscope. He's already in the spotlight way bigger than most fighters. And he's taken a lot of criticism and he didn't need anything like this, right? Because so many, so many things come out of this. Now Devin Haney, is undefeated. They're going to call this fight a no contest, right? So at, Devin Haney gets to keep his zero, right? And he's going to owe Devin Haney a rematch. And they're going to be extremely careful this fight. They're going to really make sure that he don't pop. Or if he does pop again, that's going to even be worse, right? So this is all negative for Ryan Garcia. And he did all of these press runs, dropped the diss track. Did all of these things just to have a fight not count. And he went and he didn't even get the belt. So, man, I don't know what he going to do, bro. Because his next fight going to be pivotal. His, everything he do from now on, they're going to keep a, a very close eye on him. And it's, it's disappointing, man. Because, you know, it's a, it was a good story, dog. It was a good story. And however it happened whether he cheated and didn't know or whether it was accidental it don't even matter man it don't even matter bro um and i still want more information to come out as far as i just want to know like the specifics i just need to know like because this, this is going to be a topic i feel for months now and um it's not good it's not good for boxing this is bad for boxing this is the worst thing that could happen you want everything to be fair man you want you want fair equal opportunity to win a fight you don't want no one to have an unfair advantage over anyone we all know a lot of fighters do that's not even the point the point is ryan is the one that got caught whether he did it purposely or not regardless like it's just so much on him that when you just look at everything it just it's just like damn bro um dude can't win um and since he is it's his life, and since he's basically a superstar and everybody just they just care about him whether they don't care about him, they talk about him. Everybody talks about him. So this is this is bad, man. And he should get a ban. That's that's the most important thing. He should get a ban, bro. At least six months up to a year. Off rip. Um and then after that. They have to very. They have to like make sure that he never does this ever again. If he does, then he he deserves a permanent suspension after that.